von die jüdische Frage ausgeräumt ist. Die Welt hat Siedlungsraum genügend. Es muss aber endgültig mit der Meinung gebrochen werden, als sei das jüdische Volk vom lieben Gott eben dazu bestimmt, in einem gewissen Prozentsatz Mut, Miese am Körper und an der produktiven Arbeit anderer Völker zu sein. Das Judentum wird sich genauso einer soliden, aufbauenden Tätigkeit anpassen müssen, wie es andere Völker auch tun. Oder es wird früher oder später einer kriegenden und unvorstellbaren Ausmaß erheben. Wenn es dem internationalen Finanzjudentum in und außerhalb Europas gelingen sollte, die Völker noch einmal in einen Weltkrieg zu stürzen, dann wird das Ergebnis nicht der Sieg des Judentums sein, sondern die Vernichtung der jüdischen Rasse in Europa. Our doctor among many others has been transferred to the Eastern Front, Herr General. Reichsführer Himmler's orders. We only have a nurse here. I have been on the phone looking for a doctor since I have received the news, Herr General. Jawohl, Herr General. I will do what I can. Oh, Leutnant, quickly. Oh. Leave. Right. Uh, Charles. Hello? Hello? Yeah, anybody to answer the phone? Finally. Commandant Werner here. Get me Commandant Jürgens on the phone immediately. Lily, I have an emergency here. I need a doctor here right away. What am I going to do with a dentist, Willy? We are not pulling out a tooth. This is Commandant Werner. Let me speak to Colonel Schell. Sorry to disturb you, Herr Colonel. Leutnant von Ulbricht, General Ulbricht's son, is badly wounded. We urgently need a surgeon here. Very well, Herr Colonel. I will notify the General. He's on his way here. Heinrich Hitler! Hans. Hans, can you hear me? Talk to me, son. Son. I'm sorry, Herr General, but I don't think he can hear you. Oh. You want a nurse here, hmm? I am Nurse Helga, but this is a surgeon your son needs him right away, Herr General. There, there are no surgeons or doctors available within a close proximity, Herr General. What about a Luftwaffe? Hmm? They have an airfield close by with a surgeon on their staff, or he too has been sent to the Russian front, huh? He is in Heidelberg. Heidelberg? Colonel Schell has given him time off to attend his daughter's wedding. Wedding? But he assured me that he, he will get... Get him on the phone. Get him on the phone. Yes. You are all the general. Yeah, this is Commandant Werner again. General von Ulbricht wishes to speak to Colonel Schell. Ja, Colonel? Ah. We are fighting a war and you send your doctor off to a wedding? Oh, you have, huh? Well, when will he get here? Three hours. Well, can't you fly him in? Well, find another way, then. Listen to me, Shell. You get that surgeon to me immediately, or your life will be hell. You understand? Hell. The airfield has also been shut down during the bombings. I have just become aware of that commandant.
So, how bad is he, hmm? Answer me. Uh, the shrapnel has penetrated his abdomen quite deeply, but he has a strong, regular heartbeat, Herr General. Yeah. Can he survive? Do the surgeon get here? Can he? I have done my best to control the bleeding. Uh, I will do my utmost to keep him stable. If I may, Herr General, I think the best would be if we bring him to the nearest hospital, which is about two hours away. Two hours? Over broken but roads? He will not survive, Herr General. Then, we have no alternative, hmm? But to wait for the surgeon to arrive, do we? There is an alternative, Herr General. I'm General Fat Ulbricht. Are you a doctor? When I ask questions, I expect answers. What difference does it make who or what I am? Answer the question. May I please sit down, Herr General? As you can see, it is difficult for me to stand on my feet. Leutnant like half chair, please. What is it you want from me, General Mann Ulbricht? My son has been wounded. He needs surgery. And the Leutnant here has informed me that you are, in fact, a surgeon. I cannot help your son, Herr General. Then you are telling us you are not a surgeon? You will answer my question! I am Dr. Jakob Blumenthal, a medical professor who is the head of the surgical faculty at the University of Munich for 20 years. When the head of the surgical department and president of the Heart Institute in Munich for 15 years, when the president of Germany's Heart and Neurological Surgeons Association I am the winner of 19 national and international awards in the field of heart, brain, and neurological surgeries. I am the author of 14 medical and scientific books, eight of which are still being taught at universities all over the world. Is that enough credentials for you, Herr General? Very impressive. Then you will help my son, won't you, Doctor? Yeah? Doctor? Doctor! The General is talking to you. Why? Why should I help you? You are my enemy. Let me put it this way. You have no other choice. I am ordering you to. 
I don't think you are in a position to order me. I am not one of your Third Reich soldiers, Sir General. And what if I told you? I will have you shot if you do not! Please, shoot me. I am next in line to walk into your ovens. The world will be a better place with one less kill. Put the gun away. I am sorry. I lost my temper. Please, sit down. Please, please. Leutnant, help him. Did you hear that? Hans. Hans. Can you hear me? Hans. Oh, God. Hans, you're going to be all right. Don't worry. I'm asking you. And I refuse, sir, General. <sighs> Dr. Blumenthal, I understand your anger, but please understand, I'm only a soldier whose job is to serve my country, to save it. How? How are you doing that? By gassing your innocent countrymen? Men who have helped build Germany? My oath as an officer is to carry out orders without questioning them. As do the British and the Americans and the Russians in this war. And yours is to save a life. Any life. In any circumstance. And that is a young patient who needs help. And you are a doctor. I have known of you since my nursing school days, Dr. Blumenthal. You have inspired so many. You are a celebrated child of the fatherland. Germany should be proud of you. Like that. You listen to me. I am willing to make an arrangement. You save my son's life, and I will save yours. Hmm? Believe me, I mean what I say, Herr Doctor, I mean it. You listen to me. I have never begged anyone for anything in my life. I am begging you. Save him. Life is precious, is it not? He is my only son. What about my only son? Your soldiers hanged him for smuggling rotten potatoes, for starving children in the Warsaw ghetto. Can you bring my son back to me? Can you bring back my only son?
Scarpa, please. I have assisted great surgeons, Dr. Vimanta. Assisting you will be the highest honor of my professional life. Forceps, please. Yeah, doctor. Take that picture down from the wall. It disturbs me. Don't fear us, portrait. Do as the doctor said, Leutnant. I'd like to stress that this would be a most intolerable act of disrespect towards our Führer, Herr General. Step aside, Commandant. Hey, Hitler! Move away from that portrait, Commandant Werner. And that is an order. Remove the Führer's portrait from the wall, Leutnant. Get on with the doctor. Oh, light. I need light. Uh, there's a candle on the table, Lord Donald. Get it. Closer. Higher. Good. All right.
I think, I think I need to lie down. Here. Right now, help, help. That's good. Yeah. Here, take him over to the bed. There we are. Okay, it's going around. Right. Thank Here, you. Grab his feet. Yeah, yeah. Put him on the bed. There we go. There you are. You take your glasses off, yeah? Congratulations, Herr Doctor. You did it. <laughs> you are a master, Herr Doctor. Thank you for your assistance, Fraulein. Bring it. Jetzt. I have made arrangements for you to be in Switzerland by tomorrow morning. Leutnant, please bring me my rags. Herr Doctor, I'm a man of my word. You shall be free. My, my body, what about my soul? Would I be able to sleep at night knowing that there are 700 innocent people like myself waiting to die? Free us all. Herr General, und ich will gehen. You know, I cannot do that, Herr Doctor. I cannot. My striped clothes, Lieutenant. Dr. Blumenthal, don't be a fool. I too want to be with my son. With my wife, my daughter, all my grandchildren, and my son-in-law. I look forward to joining the family. Please, don't take that joy from me. Bring some clean clothes for Dr. Blumenthal, Leutnant, please. That won't be necessary. I know you are trying to be a fair and a decent man. Perhaps you are. Someday when this, uh, all this madness is over, you may still get your chance to prove it. Fraulein. Dr. Blumenthal. Thank you. Yeah. I can find my way. Pocket. Okay. 